you fail. All right. No, we're no. getting somewhere. Show sure enough. Welcome back to PFI Speed. We are steadily working on show enough. Um, but while we do that, I'm well. While Steven does that, I'm gonna jump on uh, the Freedom Civic. I gotta bust that head gasket out, so it's ready. And uh, you got a little list to do on this. Yep. And then we gotta allocate some sensors and stuff in the ECU and uh, get some of that working because this car is pretty particular on how we launch it and stuff. So I need to make sure the brake pressure is working. I need to make sure the input shaft sensor is working. I need to make sure everything is working correctly or you know we risk killing literally a five thousand dollar clutch and uh i can't afford that so i need to make sure everything is on point and uh that we're going to be ready so you want to show them the clutch program that you got oh yeah yeah i'll show them the clutch program let's go yeah. check it out yeah sometimes legends reach out and uh we had a legend hook us up uh mike sullivan who pro stock clutch tuner extraordinaire Amazing guy. Um, we got hooked up with this program right here, AP Clutch Graph, his own clutch tuning software. He's used for clutches in pro stock cars for many years. And we have it right here um, so we can start kind of figuring things out. So what we have here is this is basically what the clutch is. What this is telling us is basically what this is in the car so this is how the clutch would be set up. And then we have the option to look at what we think may work. So that's adding weights in grams and then the base of the, the clutch itself, which is the spring pressure calculator here. So it'll tell us that. And in that, we'll get an RPM to clutch weight um, tuning. And what we do is like you have aluminum bolts and you have steel bolts. We'll change the weight of those in grams, this total main weight right here in grams, and that'll change um, where the pressure of the clutch comes in. So <coughs> say we want 65 grams on the clutch of weight. So we'll take that to 65, and you can see the whole curve has changed um, right here at 4,500. Now we have uh, 1,786 pounds of clutch load rather than the 1419 of our base so it gives us an idea of where to go and uh how to get also, this thing dialed in also the bolts aren't the only difference in weight you can get down to the washers yep so you can get down to washers and nuts and yep so we nuts. have stacks of different weight washers and different weight nuts these are aluminum nuts these are steel nuts they're way different and uh short bolts long medium bolts and then longs all weighing different amounts. Um, and then we have our um, indicator deal where we can um, always set our base. And this number right here is the base of the clutch. So very cool. So appreciate Mike Sullivan and Kyle Carter, big time reaching out and hooking us up. Uh, this is gonna definitely give us a reference and uh, yeah. we'll, we'll learn to use it. Yeah. Pretty dang cool. This on top of our fuel tech data should be a should help a lot. Yeah. Because then you get an idea of where the clutch is going to come in and how much weight it's can, bringing with it. You can actually see it instead of just guessing. Yes. Yep. Pretty cool. So I guess I'll get on to the head gasket job now. Yep. Yep. We've got to pull the transmission one more time. We've got to re-zero the stands on the clutch and uh, we were just checking it and it's off just a little bit. Yep. Um, it's a good thing we checked it though. Yeah, yeah. Kyle and I had done it before, but for whatever reason, it's, it's different. different. So we need to get 
that set back up and then uh and then we can adjust the clutch and add some weight so um so we're gonna get this transmission pulled real quick get the bell housing off and then jump back into that clutch see how this works for yep oh the back ones aren't yeah. yeah you've got the back ones i couldn't get those slide her straight back as though she need to do hey it's a pretty trick pretty trick you're not out yet though okay so something else we need yeah. to do is unplug that's new we've never had to do that before so that's one of those things that we'll need. Oh, what's this one? Oh, that's. Oh, that's just That's your uh, input shaft. Okay. Should be just a hair more back if it will, and then lift it out. All right. We are to the clutch. I gotta break all these free, turn the stands a little bit. You know how much we need to turn them? I don't know how much to turn them. All right, so what Steven's doing right now is this clutch has got these little holes and we're turning them in right now and uh, adjusting the air gap. So he's gonna turn those in, torque the plate again, and then come in here with the indicator. Come in here with the indicator Get it to zero, and uh, that'll be where we start. So, first thing that we have to do is get these stands in the right spot. That helps or not? I'm trying to read this. We're closer to zero, that's, that's 91 on that one. 84, 89, that one is, you see on your camera? Yep. Come on, focus. It's like 90, it's like 99, 98. The 98 ones may go once you do the final torque. Yeah, that one's 93. All right, so Steven has been busy getting this clutch dialed in. Yep. Push it in. All right, you guys can see now, we're at zero. So that little dash right there, we are good with between 2000s, that's yep. it. So that is set to jet so he's got all of these torqued down now um we're gonna set this thing up for the dyno so we're gonna come in here these little holes we're gonna turn these allen's i believe counterclockwise and give it three turns and that'll give us more base pressure and then we're gonna take and we're gonna put our long bolts on here with two nuts just so the clutch is clamped down to dyno so that's where we're set. That's where we're set. Yeah, man. Alrighty, so I just pulled off one of the nuts and bolts. And that's eight and a half grams. So that's just a short bolt and a, and a nut of steel. And here's what we're gonna be putting on it. Long bolt and two nuts. And that is 14 grams. That's just for the dyno just to make sure it's locked up and not slipping through the clutch on the dyno. Alrighty, here's the last bolt going on. Bolt one bolt, long bolt, two nuts, and every single one of them. I weighed every combo to make sure they're all the same 14 grams. And after this, I'm gonna do my three turns of base. Alrighty, that's our three turns of base on all of them. I'm gonna 
write this sharpie mark on all of them real fast so no matter where it is in the can you can tell which direction to turn for positive or negative and we're ready to throw it all back together job kiddo it's pretty good learning this thing yeah because it has got a huge tuning i mean this is everything this makes the car work or leave or you know the motor does its thing but this, this is what is the puts trick. the power yeah it makes it leave right so and i'm learning too i'm you know i've seen them i've talked to people but i've never actually done one so it's cool to learn all right so and we're sharing it with all you guys so you guys are learning with us yep and uh you can throw your two cents in comment give us insight keep joining us we're gonna be we're gonna be pushing and trying i mean that's what we're here to do trying to make it this weekend trying we're trying if not we'll be testing in the next week yeah so either way right. like, always got wednesday i don't want to go out and look silly we just want to work work yeah. and we want it right we waited this we've waited this long that's why it's waited this long we yeah just want it right we want it right we're not the richest people and this is a pretty extensive car yeah yeah so don't want to burn this thing up yeah some commenter earlier said he was going to unsub because Kyle could have his S2000 at the track before me. And I'm like, is it the same car? <laughs> like, he's talking about putting a supercharger on it. <laughs> Whatever. Unsub then. Because <laughs> we're busy. Um, but there we go. So, all right. Well, we're going to do that now before we put the bell housing back on. Um, we'll have to undo it all in the car when, to the hole when we're done. But that's fine. Yeah. No big deal. So now we, we're going to change the weights here. Uh, Kyle told us a long bolt and two nuts. Yep. And then, yeah, the three turns base. Yep. And then it's dyno ready. Dyno ready. That's it. All right, let's do it. Help me put this in. Okay. Oh, you hush. Uh. <laughs> I got dad jokes for days. So I lost all my winter fat, but I'm left with spring rolls. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I have a weight problem. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> <laughs> right, you should be able to just hold with the cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, just elevate yours. Yep, that's it. That black board looks bitchin'. Alright. Yep. See what I mean? Yeah. See the roof flexing while we push them, would you? <laughs> the roof's moving. Oh, just a little bit. It's fiberglass. It ain't metal no more. And there's no support behind it. <laughs> there's one on the front. <laughs> one on the back. Get it, Robert. Spooge it, I guess. Spooge? I like That's what food. we call it. <laughs> You're gonna spooge, spooge in this. Yeah, we'll get some spooge in there. It's got spooge <laughs> in my windshield. Spooge, man. <laughs> Something I never thought I'd say about my car. It's getting spooged. Well, at least you know the next time you hear that sound, you know what it is. You won't get that freaked out if a motor yeah. comes out on you. Yeah. Yeah, I told him about it at FL2K when the molding came out. I thought yeah. something was coming off that felt it was, like coming apart. It was beating I the roof. The tire was coming apart. I took the first exit at Gainesville from like 160. Oh, it looks good.
Okay, this hold this back. And then we gotta snake our way around two step thing, so watch that. Kinda could have gone in like that. Trafford, styling up. Styling up. You're on the wrong side of the car, Jimmy. I know, man. I don't know what to do. This thing's cool. Yep. This color is fantastic. Brad's old wheels. Stock with studs, Jameson. Pump gas, 85 octane. E85. Four bar. Yep. On down. You got that windshield in, it's looking fresh. And I'm over here. Trying to knock this guy out to you. So we can have, potentially if I don't get show enough done, then still got something to race. So do head gasket in it real quick, oil change. Should be back up and going again. Simple enough. Okay, so it's it needs to go backwards right now or something. You got the bolt back bolts in? No. Let's do those first. All right, yeah, let's suck those up because I should straighten our front one out. I think I got a little grease on you. So we're getting these two bolts in. Once we get these ones in, that holds this whole trans tunnel in and then the dry shaft can slide back in. And we should line up this front bolt. Seven pounds. It's on a true boost, so I don't even know what the setting is. Oh. They're not boosting the ECU? No. Yeah, make sure you didn't go, go to B or something still. I'm just sending them both the same. Yeah, that works. Just make sure they're on. Because they can be off. Yeah. Those so when things. I flip the key on, it should say A. Did it say off if it was off? Yeah, I need that on real quick. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, we got the drive shaft back in. Everything's tight. Clutch is set to dyno. Oh, that's huge guys. We are coming to the dyno. Show sure enough. Here we go.
Parker's L. We've had it on the dyno before. He's just trying to make a couple. He's trying to make a couple rips before uh, the race this weekend. Just make sure everything's fresh. How are we looking? Good. Looking great. We're just cleaning it up a little bit. He had some bad capacitors in his last Honda. Oh. So it was really screwed him up. So he threw a new one in. Yeah, that'll the do. Idle was really rich, so just clean that up. Clean up the um, startup enrichment and stuff. Make a couple pulls. Make sure it's good. Awesome. Yeah, then hopefully this fixes what we had last year. The bog out of the real hard when he did pick up. We, remember we raised a two step at the track? We did everything. Lower pressure, so found out that ECU was bad. Now she's on V3, so did this. Awesome. You got like an old V1 in it. Dude, I was reading the uh, <laughs> I was reading the date <laughs> on it, and it was uh, it was like signed 11 20 2004. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder how many Honda has sold sold. I know we we got in trouble for 30. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> How much boost was that? Like 10 pounds and I got out of 77 because it needed some fuel. Make sure you guys comment down below and let us know what you think of the day. All right, let's test that clutch. No problem. No problem. All right. That's wonderful news. No problem. We put a lot of plate load on it, so we just want to make sure it was good. She's me back up to where she was. Yeah, she's starting to work. Hey. Starting to work now, buddy. Yep. Slowly but surely. You said one ECU that was just too much. Yeah, they're, both ECUs are really far apart, dead time wise and fuel wise and everything. Yeah, that one the must. Boost kit. I think the other one has got the bugs. This is it's probably um, fresh. The one that, the one that the boost control isn't working. That's the exact same tune that you and me have done for yeah. years in the other car. Just uploaded into it and it worked, but it wouldn't work in this one. Mm. You had to change the dead times and a bunch of stuff. So, Shit, I'm working boost, now. The boost wants more. Fuck. Yeah, everything wants more. Yeah, the only Hell is sure cool. I'm hiding over here just in case. <laughs> Good looking graph though. That was 15. He wants more. Let's try 17. I thought we were going 18. Let's do 18. You're so brave. You're yeah. so brave. What if it breaks? It's not going to break because you guys are the best. I have boost cut at 19. Boost cut at 19? Yes. Flirting with disaster. I do have to let it cool off. <laughs> right in the edge. If this pops, Strat, you can't be mad at me. It's not going to pop. I'm just saying. That's my disclaimer. Give it, give it, give it 17 to 45. Well, I gave it some duty. We'll see what it does. 17 and a half, dude. I'll give you, I want it from 45 to 50. We'll see what it does. Better move your cut up. <laughs> you want the cut up? No. no. <laughs> Better than 18. <laughs> if you want 18, I can't put the cut at 18. Put it at 19. Cut's Riding the line is always hard. It is. You want 18 <laughs> pounds with a. No variance. <laughs> Good luck with that. Four years running. 
intake manifold, head studs. It's good stuff. The JDM <laughs> stuff. Yeah, let's do it there. Refill. The L is ready to take some L's. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost made it. All right, Jane, let us know what's going on here. So, we got some bunk injectors. We got started to the acting, track, yeah. Started acting real funny. Um, we figured out cylinder two was really not working very good. So we called it a day. He brought the injectors by the other day and they weren't working very good. So gave him a new set, he threw them in. Um, so he'd gotten some used injectors. So these are brand new, they're ours. They're on our website. Yep, on Pick the them website. Up. And hey, reliable. we're just going to double check everything because yep. the two-step changed a whole bunch. Everything was just changing the idle, everything. So we're going to make a couple rips. Yep. Make sure Feel it out. Sure. Yep. Oh, geez. Every time you pop it. And I love those blue NGK wires. And you know, they do go with it because of the timing belt and right. some of the other blue accents. So, you know, I know the red and black theme, but the little blue is nice. And those so wires work NGK so good. And gates, you need to make color options for that. <laughs> yes, right? please. Please, NGK. Although those things do work. And gates. Yeah, and gates. So I mean, fact, I take a red belt and red wires on mine. Yeah. And I did talk to them about that in 1997, just so everyone knows. Well, there's the heat culprit. Found the problem from Sick Week. My bad. <laughs> Driving at 2.30 for hours. Oh yeah, that's it's it. a little push. Just a little bit. Yeah. It's alright, we got the goods and we got some better studs, so. Yeah. Get her back together. Well, that definitely could be worse. So, no big deal. Get those L19s put in this thing and uh, should be back ripping again. Whew. I wanna see a couple of the pulls though for that thing. I'm sure you guys do too. It's already been a crazy day. Strat's gonna, Strat's gonna, um, Strat's gonna roll the fenders on show enough too. So we've got that to look forward to today too. So. This day's just been going and going, so I hope you guys are enjoying. What he said. Hell yeah. Dude. How much boost? I don't know. 30. I'll get there in a second. One and a half. 29. 32. How much you want to bet? Uh, I don't like Snickers, so. Yeah. Or soda. I'll uh, bet you rolling the fenders. I'm doing that already. All right, cool. <laughs> 34 and it fell to 34 30. and fell to 33. Well. It makes some stink. A lot of stink. It was clean too. I'm pulling some fuel. How much fuel needed to pull? Seven to ten. Which is that one injector that was wonky probably. Yep. Well, thank goodness we know now. That is sick. Nuts. That's all working.
I'm trying. Moving on the old girl. Yeah, trying to get her all done, getting the She's running L19s tonight. put in right now. She's running so. into nine. What was the one before? Just had standard studs. Huh. And uh, that and driving at 2.30 for extended periods of time, we kind of just killed them. So Whatever. Chris K-Series parts hooked me up with these, so. Heck yeah. Get the head back on and then this thing will be going. But you got the show off all wrapped Shonoff up, huh? Show wrapped up, bro. She's Thank ready. goodness. Those front fenders were killing the tire. Put tire on, but I mean, where they were, you're feel it's tons of space. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Yeah, because I moved them in, but the lip had stuck out. I had so. to do some old school work. Well. The roller wouldn't work, so you know, we used the rubber mallet and oh, some yeah. hand control. You're a G, so <laughs> I trust you. You're a G. All right, man. All Thank right, you. Head back to the shop. I'll see you guys on Sunday. See you Sunday. All right, see ya. See ya. Or two are. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> All right, Steve. How is it? Good. Right oh the yeah, that feels much better. We're gonna narrow that thing up a little bit just to, you know. But so, what we need is that two of these, and the other and, one is currently a wheel drive right now. Okay, and then Cotter Pin said he's got another one. Yeah, and he's got the hangers to mount them. Yep. So. A lot going on. We did a lot today. It's probably the video could be confusing, but that's just what it was. Like that's, I our was, days are confusing. I've been on Freedom Civic, been on Show Enough, tuning. Shane's been pulling engines. We've been just slammed. Go go go! Yeah, it's awesome. But uh, right. it's one heck of a day. We're trying. It's Thursday, so we're <laughs> we're running out of days. Um, Sunday we have a race at Bandemir Speedway, so, you know, we're trying to get stuff ready for that. Um, we like to test showing up. If we can, if we can't, then I'm gonna try to run the Freedom Civic and uh, test this the next week. But either way, uh, we're trying. I hate to test in front of a whole crowd, but at the same time, like, that's just my life anyway, so. If I'm not testing in front of all of them, I'm testing in front of all of you, and, you know, the judgments come one way or another, so we might as well just go for it. Right, Steve? Yep. Yep, screw it. It's looking great. You've been busting butt on this all day. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, you got the catch pan back on it. Yeah, you got that fitting pretty good, the front catch pan. Yeah, because I had to pull it for the jack stands. Yep. Uh, you got, been, got the roof on. I gotta, well, I got to fix that rip knot. Just some little things. And uh, I got to finish the head job on the Freedom Civic. Uh, but it's getting late. And uh, we're running out of day. So we may just, you know, round this into a part two. So I guess look for part two tomorrow. And that's going to do for today, guys. So keep watching. Give us a like, subscribe. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care.